Thank you so much, Scott. We appreciate your music talents along with David Bouvet and our multimedia team as well. And we'd like to say a special welcome to each and every one of you who joined us in our auditorium today, social distancing and wearing masks. We certainly appreciate you all being here, the wonderful energy that you bring to this moment and to our live streaming. It's a delight to have each and every one of you with us. There was a pastor who on one Sunday morning proclaimed the church is in need of some additional finances. And so we've already passed the offering plate, but we're gonna pass the plate one more time. And we really need everyone to give generously. And in fact, the person who gives the most generous offering will get the opportunity to select three hymns. Well, they passed the offering plate. And as the plate came by, the pastor noticed Wow, someone put a thousand dollars in. And being so moved and so grateful for this generous gift, he said, I would like to personally thank whoever made this contribution. Would they come forward? And there was an elderly woman sitting in the back, frail and simple, and she just raised her hand and she began to move forward. The pastor was so moved with gratitude, so grateful. Ma'am, I'm so honored. I'm so grateful that you've made this generous contribution to the ministry and work of this church. Now you may pick three hymns. She pointed to three handsome gentlemen in the auditorium and said, I'll take him, him, and him. <laughs> now that's great gratitude. She was grateful, the pastor was grateful, everybody grateful because in the end, everyone was blessed. And this is so true of the spirit of gratitude. You are blessed in the spirit of gratefulness and appreciation. It's one of the great energy shifters of our world. Let me tell you this, it's one of the most powerful shifts in frequency in our life that we can make. It is associated with love and kindness and what it does is when we are expressing gratitude, we raise up the frequency of our life, the energy of our life. We begin to raise it up to a new level, a level that is higher and enabling us to achieve our very highest and best through it. It's an energy shifter. How important it is that we grasp this because it'll take us to a new level, a level of great joy, a level of great happiness. When we engage in this great spirit, when we allow this energy shifter to take place. Today's world right now with COVID-19, there are so many who have just allowed the negative energy of our world and everything that's unfolding in it to just bring their frequencies down. They're going lower and lower into negativity and irritability. They're now being very short with one another and patience is limited. All because of the great challenges we're going through. But this is the time to allow the energy shifter to take place and to work within our lives by embracing never more than ever before this very spirit of gratitude and appreciation. When we begin to count our blessings and name them one by one by that old familiar hymn, count your many blessings, name them one by one. When we do this, what happens is we shift that frequency. We shift our attitude. We change the energy of our life. And what happens is we bring about an attracting energy to our lives. It's a shift from that which may be pushing things away and releasing in a way that uh, hindering uh, anything coming to us uh, and creating an inability for it to flow to our life. We shift now in the spirit of gratitude and appreciation that I am grateful, I am appreciative, I am thankful for all that's transpiring within my life. What happens is it creates an attracting energy that begins to draw even more goodness to our lives. Because if we wanna change our life experience, then what we must do is change the life frequency, change the energy that we're emitting. For the soul is giving up this energy, and wouldn't it be wonderful if you were now realizing that you could offer an attracting energy, an energy that draws to you, that draws the goodness, that draws the highest and best into your life. So what we understand is that it opens up a major shift within our lives. There was a young man that I was working with and he was saying, you know, 
I have been on this spiritual pathway for quite some time, but unfortunately, it seems like the challenges of my life have become so great and I'm in need of a spiritual renewal. I need some refreshing to happen within my spiritual life. I'm hungry for something to shift and make a change within me. And I offered him the advice of simply beginning a journey of gratitude on a day-to-day -day basis, expressing gratitude for anything and everything. That the moment you leave this office and walk out into the world, I invited him to begin to see the world with gratitude and appreciation. Gratitude for the air that you breathe. Gratitude for the ground that you walk on. Gratitude for the car that you're gonna get in to go home. Gratitude for the home and everything that you see on the pathway. And just begin to say, I am thankful, I am thankful, I am thankful, I am grateful, I am in appreciation. What happens is that he began to see and most importantly, feel things differently. Everything changed for him because he began to open himself up to a realization that the God that he was seeking is everywhere, all around him, ever present, no matter what the circumstances may be, because he could experience and see and feel and sense all of the creation, all the great gifts, the great generosity of God, seen in the air that he breathes, in the ground that he walked on, in the car that he traveled in, the home that he went to, and everything that he saw in between. It just helped him to acknowledge and open himself up in a way that began to draw now the divine presence of God, the goodness of God to him. I love this passage that the psalmist has written for us, inspiring us and giving us guidance simply enter into his gates with thanksgiving. It's a mantra that we need to embrace for the day-to-day -day journey. When we want to enter into the presence of God, when we're hungry for more of this wonderful sense of the reality of God with us, in us, around us, and for us, well, we enter in, we come through the gate of gratitude of thanksgiving and appreciation. It enables us to come into the presence as never before. You see what happens is with the expressions of gratitude, the energy of gratitude that we offer, we begin to swing open the gates of the divine presence within our own life. Those doors swing wide open with a sense of, I am grateful for all that God has blessed me with. I am grateful. And even though you may at times feel that you are in lack or short of, or don't have, or don't possess all that you may desire. The gratitude that says right now, that which I do possess and I'm grateful for, it begins to swing open the doors of then to this wonderful presence. It's this life transforming energy shift experience where we enter in through the power of gratitude and thanksgiving. What happens is when we are grateful for what we already have, what we're doing is we usher, we sort of move our spirit to a place of seeing and experiencing abundance. That's right, abundance. You know, we begin to be ushered as if, you know how it is in the wedding, they have ushers put, offering their arm out and take you down the aisle and bring you there to your seat and seat you. Well, it's as if that ushering is happening within our life through gratitude, offering us the arm and taking us deeper into the presence of God, which is abundance. God is the infinite possibility. God is infinite blessing. God is infinite good. Abundance abounds in God. That which you may be seeking in your life, peace, joy, happiness, love, grace, forgiveness. God is the abundance of all of those things. And when we are grateful for what we have, we find ourselves ushered into this divine presence. It is then that we enter into awareness that all things are possible. And this abundance then is us simply knowing that we already have so much. We already have so much. For when we are grateful what we have, the pathway is open to even greater things. We begin to attract because we appreciate what we have, more comes to us. Have you ever offered something in uh, kindness to someone and they're not grateful? They haven't expressed gratitude? The energy around giving to them again said, well, he wasn't thankful, wasn't appreciative, didn't really appreciate it, makes me kind of like not want to give, you know, to that person anymore because they just don't appreciate it. 
Oh, but when someone does, what happens? Oh, thank you. I appreciate. I'm grateful for this gift or what you've done for me. What does that do? But it makes you want to give more to them, right? Because that appreciation is an attracting energy. So it is as we walk through our life when we appreciate, I appreciate what I have. I value what I have. I'm grateful for what I have. This gratitude then is an attracting force that draws to us even more. This energy shift enables us to see and to know and experience God that is the all good. The all good, no matter what you're going through. It is the all good. I'm appreciative of whatever I'm going through. Because let me tell you this, whatever you're going through, you attract it and you must have needed it. Wait a minute. You're gonna tell me this challenge, my microwave blew up, my car <laughs> doesn't start, my job isn't the, paying the greatest salary, whatever it may be, is it, wait a minute, I attracted this? Well, yes we do. We attract all of this in our life and it may be that we needed it. What, you needed it? Because it puts you in a place of awareness, it makes a shift. There's a lot of things that we may attract to our life that may not be the best, but they help us grow, evolve, and change and transform. So we may go through challenging times. We may go through difficult moments that we've attracted to our life, but they are there as opportunities for the soul to evolve and to grow. There's a story that we just looked at in our class on Musar on a Thursday morning at 10 a.m. in the Emerson Institute. It's found in our textbook, Everyday Holiness, but it's a very powerful illustration of gratitude for no matter what we experience. There was a rabbi and he was traveling to a village. And along with him, he took a lamp, a rooster and a donkey. Sounds like a joke, okay, but it's not. <laughs> and they come into this village uh, with lamp, a rooster and a donkey and a rabbi, and he's looking for accommodations for the evening only to find that he's turned away from the inn and there's no place for him to stay. So he finds solitude out on the edge of the city. And as nightfall falls, the wind came and blew out his lamp. Ugh. What do we do now? As nightfall came, a weasel came and ate the rooster. Oh, now what do we do now? As nightfall came, a lion came and devoured the donkey. Oh. oh my, challenge after challenge, but as nightfall came, an enemy of marauders came into the city and hauled everyone off into captivity. Only he was spared. Why? Because the lamp had been blown out. Had the light been shining, the uh, enemy would have noted where he was. Why was he safe? Because the rooster had been eaten by the weasel. Had the rooster crowed, would have given away his location. The donkey devoured by the lion was actually the greatest blessing. Had the donkey brayed, made some sort of noise or acted up, again, he would have been given away and he would be in captivity, but he was spared. So is he grateful? Oh yes. Grateful for every experience he's going through. Yes, the lamp blows out. Yes, the rooster is gone. Yes, the donkey's gone. But his life is spared. And when we look at the greater cause of everything, he's saying, I am so grateful that no matter what the experience I've gone through, it's there for my highest and best. And I must have attracted it. I must have brought it to my life for a reason for good. Now, let me tell you this. Every time you go through a challenge and you may say, wait a minute, did I attract this hardship, this difficulty? But it's for our good, for our blessing, for our development, for our evolution, for our best. And when we live life from that perspective, we're grateful for every experience in our life. Are you grateful for that flat tire you had? Little did you may know that it may have caused you or spared you to slow down and cause you from some traffic incident. We now know all the things that are going on within a world that may happen for us for our highest and best. And that may we attract it as, as we said earlier, angels in John's prayer, messengers of God speaking to us in divine ways or looking out and guiding us. So let us be grateful in all circumstances and grateful for all things. For the very science of gratitude is about more than just saying thanks. It's more than that. It's a way of seeing the world and seeing our world in new ways in which our eyes are opened. 
And when we do so, we see the world from a perspective that there is no lack. God is always blessing. And the unfolding of blessing is ever ongoing. It never stops. It never comes to an end. For the generosity of God is unlimited. So when we begin to see the world from a different perspective, the perspective of goodness, oh, we're going through challenges for goodness to unfold for the soul to increase. We're going through difficult times. We're going through these experiences, whatever it may be. We're going through the time. There is no lack. There is just the uncoming and unfolding of greater good ever coming to us. So the scripture says, give thanks in all circumstances, in every circumstances, no matter what you're going through, you're called to give thanks. Be appreciative of every single experience you went through. Grateful that the lamp blows out. Grateful that the rooster is eaten. Grateful that the a donkey is devoured. Grateful that you have been spared and you are safe. All things work together for good when we are offering gratitude in every circumstance. Again, gratitude is much more than just uttering words. It's living by them actually living the spirit of gratitude in all times, in all ways. We live this world differently, and when we do, some amazing things actually happen within ours, our lives. Do you know that people who are grateful are less likely to get sick? It's a proven fact. Gratitude can be one of your greatest protections. Uh, it creates a change within the molecular system of the body with this great feeling and emotion for your uh, biography, affects your biology. It is your story of gratitude that's going to impact how you live your life. People who are grateful actually sleep better. People who are grateful are 20% to be uh, more likely to be more generous because they already have a spirit of gratitude. People who are grateful are better in relationships. If you're looking for that super spouse, that wonderful partner in life, look for someone who is exuding the spirit of gratitude. They are also more forgiving. Gratitude will improve your happiness and your general state of mind. Gratitude will reduce your blood pressure. Wow, just taking a time to be grateful reduces the blood pressure within your life and it offers increased energy. You are more likely to help others when you are engaging in the spirit of gratitude and that energy shift takes place within your life. And when you express gratitude before going to bed, you're gonna have the best night's sleep. Being grateful, expressing gratitude, offering thanks. What happens is it actually, gratitude will rewire our brain. That's right. It ignites the chemical dopamine, and a, it's, which is a transmitter of happiness and contentment. When we do this, we just see a science happening within the very body. The spirituality of gratitude of impacting the science of everyday living, where science and spirituality are intertwined with one another. What happens is you actually train your brain in gratitude to deflect negative things, to actually push them away. And what happens is in gratitude, you are learning to retain more positive experiences in your life. You become a more well-rounded person as you express gratitude. Now, here's the best one for you all. Gratitude can actually be a fountain of youth. Science is saying those people who have expressed gratitude are actually speaking to the body and saying this, I am grateful for life. And they're telling every cell within the body, I am grateful for life. And so consequently, I want more of life. I want to live longer. But those who are living in the spirit of being ungrateful, lacking gratitude in their life, lacking gratitude for the life that they're living, are telling the body, I really am not grateful for this. I don't really want any more. I don't want extended life. I don't want cell renewal. I don't want this to happen. We're actually subconsciously speaking to the body and telling the very souls and the molecular makeup of the physical being to say, I'm done. Oh, the fountain of youth is there when we are saying, I am grateful for the life I'm living each and every day. And it renews and refreshes. If you are grateful, 
what happens is simply this, your blessings will increase because you see the blessings. You already see them unfolding. You're grateful for what you have and you acknowledge them. And when you do, you're going to open the door for even more to happen for us in our life. It is a metaphysical law, a law that is beyond the physical. It's a spiritual law that when we begin to acknowledge, when we begin to see things with a spirit of appreciation in our life, it only allows us to be a gateway for even more to happen within our life. Let me tell you this, the, those who are expressing the ingratitude in nature, the negativity, the doubt, the fears, etc., that are all associated with it, are actually blocking out things that could be coming to their lives. Because let me tell you this, when you are welcoming in gratitude all the goodness, it will come to you, as Jesus said, all that the Father has is mine. And that's the same for you and I. Everything that the divine source of God has is for you. Now, in gratitude, we will attract it. We'll draw it to us. We will usher it in. We'll move into this divine presence, which is the place of goodness and full abundance. We're going to get there in the spirit of gratitude, which is actually a lifestyle. Gratitude is a lifestyle. I know it's Thanksgiving. We think it's very appropriate to talk about gratitude during this week. We're going to gather together around turkey dinners. Uh, some of us, it's going to be TV dinners all at home alone. But we're going to say, this is our Thanksgiving dinner. And what's going to happen in our life is we're going to say, well, I got to think about maybe being a little grateful. It's a lifestyle, not meant to just be in the season of Thanksgiving, but a lifestyle that is lived each and every day, every single moment of our lives. Colossians chapter four, verse two says this, devote, devote yourself, devote yourself to prayer, being mindful, aware, and thankful. Wow. This is the calling of our lifestyle, that there may be a devotion, a dedication, a commitment to every single day of our life in a prayerfulness that is filled with a sense of appreciation and gratitude for all things. Ah, you're in the presence of God. You're in the presence of the divine. You are in the presence of the awareness of love and grace and mercy and all the goodness that the God has for you. You are in that as you devote daily, commit daily to this wonderful attitude of appreciation. Psalm 95 verses one through three say, let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Yes. It is how we enter in. It is the gateway. This is how it all happens. It's happening when we exude this wonderful spirit of gratitude in our lives. So today, I invite you to enter into the presence of God. You have the key. The doors are ready to swing open. It is simply using the key of gratitude and appreciation for every single experience. You may want to label every experience good or bad, challenging or uplifting. Doesn't matter. They're all something to be grateful for because they're all part of the evolution of the soul, of the journey of our life. So come now and enjoy this energy shift. Allow this shift to take place within your life by embracing a day-to-day -day journey, a day-to-day -day commitment, a day-to-day -day devotion to saying, I am grateful in all ways. And as we do, even more blessings await us. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. And as you do, you become the attractor of even more that has been waiting for you, ready and prepared for you. For God knows the desires of your heart before you even ask, so they're already prepared and already there, just waiting for you to usher them in, to allow them to come in, to release all blockages and all hindrances, to allow the goodness of God for all that God has, all that the Father has is yours. And it's yours through the energy shift of gratitude. Amen.